Uh, I found it and printed it. <laughs> It's Back to the Future Day and I'm a big Back to the Future fan, so I made a hoverboard out of wood. Very cool. And I'm dressed up as Marty McFly today. <laughs> Took me a while to find like a t-shirt with the right kind of pack. Can I have a movie? Yeah. <laughs> this movie was showing like non-stop on TV all the time. I'm like, we're gonna have flying cars, we're gonna have shoes that like lace up on their own, and it was just like, and a hoverboard. So here's a little close-up on the back. That's where the plutonium canister gets loaded in. And then here are some of the parts laid out. You can see these parts have just been machined here. A lot of crazy stuff. It was so much fun to work on that movie. I don't know if it's good or bad, but 30 years later, it's the most fun I ever had on a movie for sure. Kind of stuck because he's back in time and there's no integrated circuits, so of course. And they needed someone to translate the sketch. It's not like they had blueprints or all the time in the world to make special parts to look like the drawings. What they really need to have is someone to find stuff. It's like an Easter egg hunt, like a scavenger hunt. Find stuff that's gonna look like these pictures we have. Maglev system that you would just pop into your Midas muffler shop. So when you look at the back of the DeLorean, all of this stuff has to be figured out. What goes where? How's that really going to look? So you make a sketch or two to kind of define what's going on. This is a Dodge Polera wheel cover. Yeah, it really is a character, much, much more than a prop. You know, it, they are fun to drive. Um, now, back in the day, uh, they got... When I first bought the car, I didn't realize how much people associated the car with Back to the Future. Uh, then I started driving it around and everyone, everyone lights up and has the, you know, gives you the Back to the Future uh, references and whatnot. What's funny is this is a stock, um, a stock speedometer. They only go to 85. And people aren't used to seeing uh, doors like this, so um, people stop and stare. So it does make you feel kind of special. It, it's, it's kind of a fun thing. Pinched at all four corners, and then that fits into this crazy headdress, which is riveted together out of aluminum. And uh, Doc puts it on. I have no expectation that we'll have flying cars because they'll be f falling out of the sky like stoves, I think. If people maintain their flying car like they maintain their personal automobile, we're finished. So I don't think it's going to happen too soon. Uh, I hope we figure out a good way to get around, though. That would be nice. I didn't really expect flying cars.